What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. And for those who are new, welcome. So today I'm doing a makeup tutorial and I'm gonna do a sort of a French girl look with fake freckles. But to be honest, I know I'm late on that type of trend. I just wanted to see if I, what I look like with freckles. I already primed my face using the Smashbox Photo Finish Color Correcting. Uh, it's a balancing foundation primer, which I like because it really does what it says. It helps with color correcting. Also, it leaves my skin really soft as well. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. So first, I'm actually going to be adding some tape to my eyes, well, the bottom of my eyes, uh, just to get that nice cut crease that I try to achieve knowing damn well I can never do it <laughs> Now I'm actually going to be covering my eyes with my MAC Studio Fix 24 Hour Smooth Wear Concealer in NC50 as a lid base or lid primer for my eyeshadow and I'm going to be very generous with it as well. Next I'm going to be blending out with my MAC 270 Concealer Brush and just blending that out all over my lid. Now I'm going to set with my MAC Prep and Prime Powder and I'm just going to be patting that in. Next, I'm going to be using my Morph 35F eyeshadow palette and mixing the colors Hazel and Fortune as a base color for my lid using my e.l.f. crease brush. Next, I'm using my Morph Jacqueline Hill eyeshadow palette in Dark Magic using the shade Temptress, which is the darkest shade. In my opinion, it is the blackest of black eyeshadows I have ever used in my entire life of makeup. And I'm using that as an outline for my wing. Now I'm going to be using my e.l.f. angle brush and using the brush part to um, brush up my brows and I'm using my ABH dip brow pomade and granite to fill out my brows as well. Now I'm using my e.l.f. concealer brush with the same concealer that I used to prime my eyelid to underline the bottom of my brows to give them that nice cut crease look. Mm -hmm. 
Now for my last step in my brows, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fast Sculpting Brow Gel in Black Brown. And I really love this product because it's very fast drying and it gives a little bit more filled, fluttered look uh, to my brows. And I really love that natural look it gives as well too. For the sake of this video, I actually went off camera and finished the rest of my eyes and applied some lashes. I will link where I got my lashes down in the description box below. But for foundation, I used the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover in uh, Cafe Ole. And not only is this foundation very lightweight, it has SPF 50 sunscreen in it, so I won't have to put on sunscreen before applying foundation and it's very um, buildable coverage as well and I'm using this to blend it out with my elf ultimate blending brush and to give it a nice sheer uh, coverage and application <music> Next, I'm going back in with my MAC Pro Concealer and just going to be applying it to my under eye. Just a couple of dots, nothing too crazy. Um, just to cover a bit of my deep under eye sets. Um, and also going over my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, and my chin as well, and a little bit on the ball of my nose. Now I'm going to set everything using my e.l.f. blending sponge. And as you can see, I sprayed myself trying to dampen my sponge. Now that I have it the correct way, I can blend everything out now. Going back in with my MAC Pepper and Prime loose powder again, and I'm just going to be setting everything under my eyes, forehead, bridge of my nose, and chin, and maybe on the sides of my mouth as well, too. Next, I'm going in with my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette to contour my cheekbones and my forehead and jawline. And I'm going to be using the same brush I used to apply my foundation with to give a more natural look. Next, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. bronzing brush and applying my Bare Minerals bronzer to the top of where I contoured uh, to give a little bit more definition to. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I'm going in with my e.l.f. eyeliner brush and I'm going to use that same palette what I contoured with to just contour my nose just a bit. And y'all, I'm not the best at contouring my nose, but just bear with me. Now to make my faux freckles, I'm using my LA Girl Glide Gel Liner in brown. And I'm just going to be using the, I guess, poke method to just create the dots. And I'm just gonna be randomly putting them all over my nose and cheeks. Primer Infused Blush in the color Always Rosy with my e.l.f. Complexion Brush and I'm just going to be patting that into my cheeks giving that just got off vacation sunburnt look um, or flush look if you will uh, and, and honestly this is my first time ever using blush and I think this is what's been missing in my makeup routine y'all uh no doubt about it as uh, something i definitely would see myself using every day Now, since this is a French girl look, and this is the piece de la resistance, I am using the Lip Bar Straight Line Matte Lip Line in the color Straight Face as my red lips, and I'm just gonna be shading in all over my lips. Now for a highlight, I'm going to be using the Black Radiance Color Perfect Highlighting Powder in the shade or color Moonlit Glow. And I'm going to be applying with my e.l.f. highlighting brush. And this product is very pigmented. Now the last step in this tutorial, I'm going to be using the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray and I'm going to be spraying this all over my face to set all of the makeup and this will give me a nice dewy finish.
So there you have it, you guys. I'm really loving this look. This is definitely something I would wear in public. You know, also maybe like on a date night. I love the fake freckles. Um, I really thought this was going to be like a fail, but actually I love it. All the products I've used will be linked, not linked, but in the description box down below. So if you love this look, give it a thumbs up and give it a good comment and subscribe if you like my channel. So I'll see you guys in the next one.